When Steve and I first met, he was lost in a sartorial time warp. Today we're going to get him out of it and we're going to take him into the present. But first, let's start with his profile. Steve is tall. He plays volleyball regularly and keeps his figure at a V. He has a warm autumn complexion and he has a favor for classic shapes with some urban trend details. And he has a business executive career. Steve has been climbing the executive advertising track for the last 17 years in LA, Phoenix, and Seattle. And he has a museum-worthy collection of clothes cataloging the last two decades of fashion to prove it. We are gonna make sure we get him into the present because not only has he you know, aged over the last two decades, but he's gotten a lot of new accoutrements. He has a lovely new wife that he just married and he lost 25 pounds. So we need to make sure that all of his clothes are addressing his current situation. Steve is a traveling executive, and if you were ever in an emergency situation, this jacket could double as a parachute. And in an executive boardroom situation, it doesn't fare as well. Let's go through his individual failings. First, the shoulder pads extend at least an inch past his natural shoulder line. Second, the jacket sleeve is ever so slightly short, and the jacket hem is ever so slightly long, giving him an awkward T-Rex proportion. Not only could he fit a fist in here without the buttons pulling, he could probably fit three or four. And underneath this jacket, he is hiding a shirt with balloon-worthy potential. This piece of fashion nostalgia that Steve is currently sporting takes us into a pre-Facebook era. Should he want to go to a 1996 costume party, he'd be perfectly outfitted. But going into an executive boardroom, he's going to fail to close the deal because it's going to isolate him from everyone else in the room. Let's go through its shortcomings point by point. First, the French cup. It's a formality faux pas. If we're going to a gala, perfect. If we're going to a business lunch, not so much. Second, the pleating adds about 20 pounds to his waistline. And finally, finishing with the shoe, the short rounded toe box visually truncates his feet and they no longer have the stature to stand up to his legs. In this final ensemble, we have Steve perfectly outfitted to pick up Slurpees and take him to his client meeting at the skate park. We want to make sure we're getting Steve sophisticated enough for the office and this look only says sloppy. First of all, the wash of these jeans is far too distressed and far too light for a business setting. Second, if we turn around and we enjoy the back view, these pockets and the untucked shirt do nothing but age him. Whenever you try to compete against a young person, you are going to lose. Young people are much better at being young than old people are. We want to be sophisticated. They can be young. Finally, if we look at the cut of the pants, they're swallowing his shoe, they're too long, and we're completely losing his foot. It makes his feet look too small and we're getting a denim trail in the back. If the last suit we had Steve in was a first generation Blackberry, here we have him in the latest iPhone. The fit is so much better. The shoulder pad ends at the shoulder. The blazer length is no longer pooling in his hands and he can fit only one flat hand underneath the top of his suit button, ensuring that he looks about 20 pounds lighter. In this next ensemble, we have transformed Steve into a look that is worthy of both his age and the current year. We're marrying those two elements. Steve is a very young 40 year old, but he works in a very youthful industry and he needs to be on top of current trends and events to be able to be credible to speak on those levels. So we wanna make sure we have colors and patterns that are alive and vibrant, yet shapes and an overall persona that is classic and sophisticated. We have a very slim fit that is showing off all of his hard work. We have colors that are lighting up his complexion. They all have warm undertones. And we have a toe box that is long enough to stand up to his exceptional stature. In this final ensemble, we have Steve outfitted for a business professional environment. We have him in a dark wash slim jean that is both appropriate for his office and for his age. We have a slim well-fitted t-shirt underneath a blazer which is so much better than your sloppy chinos with an oversized polo. This really says sharp, smart, and sophisticated. People are gonna be able to look at this and realize that Steve understands not only the history of the business, but what's up and coming. Thanks for watching on our men's fashion series on the Cardigan Empire YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to watch more. Steve has been climbing the executive advertising track for the last 17 years in Seattle, Phoenix, and LA. And he has a museum-worthy collection of clothes cataloging the last two decades as well. 
So we are going, um, I don't know what comes after that. Oh, I, he lost 25 pounds and he's got a cute wife and we need to make sure that we give him a wardrobe yeah. worthy of his current situation. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Stuck in the past. Everybody's getting, but like we make you look bad so we can make you look so good. Yeah. That's, that's I wish it was 96 again. Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs>